I'd like you now to consider the blood of Jesus. That is what gets us relationship with God. That is our ticket in because none of us are good enough. So we're basically riding on his coattails. We're, we're being invited to the party because we know him and we're basically on his reputation. So we're going to use the blood of Jesus that covers all our sins. Now we're going to plead the blood. Now pleading is a legal term. Pleading means uh, I plead guilty, I plead innocent, I plead insanity. We're not pleading any of those. You're pleading the blood. So if there's a crime committed, a sin committed, a debt to be paid, debt owed, doesn't matter. I'm pleading the blood on that debt. Therefore, it is paid by the blood, not me. Make sense? So we're going to use the word free, F-R-E-E. -E. The letter F is because you're a follower of Jesus. The R is for the reason for the problem. The first E is for the events that caused the problem. And the second E is the emotions around the problem. So say you had a car accident and it's kind of traumatic for you. And you're having flashbacks, you're having bad dreams, you're avoiding driving, you're having all these issues because of your, your mind and your body are remembering that was a very scary situation and it needs to protect you from it, so it's trying to. And when your body is trying to protect you from something, the immune system will freak out, you'll get a rash, you'll start sweating, your heart will beat, you will have fear. All these things your body has, it's way to get you out of there because it's trying to protect you. What we're going to do is we're going to plead the blood on the cause of all that fear, the cause of the problem, which is uh, in our example here, the car accident memory. Now we don't have to think about it, we don't have to relive it, we don't have to talk about it. We don't want to re-injure ourselves. So we're going to use F-R-E-E. -E because you're a follower, the reason, the event, and the emotions. First thing we're going to start with, I plead the blood on the reason for, and you say your problem, okay? I plead the blood on the reason for blah, blah, blah. Now I want you to say, I plead the blood on the events that caused whatever that is. I plead the blood on the emotions around fill in the blank. Good. Pleading the blood may sound a little simple, but I use that one more often than anything else now. I found that I don't have to do the detective work of why is this happening or why do I feel this way. An example, I was riding down the highway and I, I saw another bike on its side and there was some guy lying on the highway. And I'm like, well, I better pull over and help this guy. But there was already some people around there. So I, I come up on the scene. Uh, his bike has been picked up. He's lying on the ground. He's conscious. He seems to be fine. He's complaining about a sore wrist and a shoulder. Uh, another lady pulled up and she says, I'm an ER nurse. I know, so actually she was a doctor. And so I thought, there's nothing I can do here. The bike is up. The, the ambulance is on the way. Uh, physician there for his physical injuries. He doesn't seem that upset or anything. So I thought, well, there's really nothing I can do. And I was quite a bit frustrated with that. I thought, as I left, <laughs> I didn't do any more. So I thought, well, why do I feel that I have to solve people's problems? Why do I feel like I really need to do something? I always need to help someone. Why do I feel that way? Instead of figuring out, well, what in my past caused me to feel guilty or responsible for everyone else, I just said, I plead the blood on having to help everybody. I plead the blood on the reason I have to help everybody. I plead the blood on the events that cause me to feel like I need to help everybody. And I plead the blood on the events around having to help everybody. I don't feel like I have to help everybody. It's fun. I enjoy it. And I'm trying to help you as best I can. My goal of doing all this actually is how many people can I get to do the amazing uh, healing interaction with Jesus every day. And that's what this video is about because it costs me a bit of money, but I can get a lot of people every day to come to the site and do what you're doing now. And that's the exciting part because when I work with people on the phone, it is amazing. I honestly wish you could hear the calls I hear. The stories, the how Jesus heals people and what happens and just amazing, amazing things people have had to gone through. If 
but he just heals them. And it's, I've, I tell you, I've talked to people who are 80, 90 years old, and they're like, oh, I just called for this little thing, dear. I'm like, oh, that's fine, but let's see what else is there. And, and just stuff from like when they were little kids, like decades, 70, 80 years ago, comes up and Jesus heals them of it. And they just feel better and they say, okay, well, now how's that pain you were complaining about? What? And they're surprised. I, I can't feel it. <laughs> it's the greatest thing. I just wish you could experience it. Well, you are going to. Okay. So, I'm going to take you through the process that I take all the callers through. And I've got so much wonderful stories and success and healing.